Welcome to more Grand Turismo Sport Closed Beta Special Titan. Today we have some Group 3 cars around Dragon Trail Seaside. And, well, the only thing I've done with these cars on this track is a live stream, so this should be the first time I'm special taking this. And, well, I'm pretty sure fast cars around a relatively new track will make for chaos, and there's been a whole heck of a heap of chaos lately, so I think that'll be a good mixture for a good race. And as of that, it's definitely... Oh, dear, I think this might be a little bit more than chaotic. Wish me luck. Uh, I think that's some PD logic if there ever was any polyphony digital logic there. Your car will go ghost when you're trying to bump draft somebody at Blue Moon Raceway, but when there's a, literally a seven car pile up, your car doesn't go ghost. Well, I got the worst of that PD logic, so now I'm going to have to recover from that from literally dead last. So, yeah. I, I think that's a little bit broken there, but it's just a beta. Maybe they're fixing it in the main game, because... And another thing, too, is I lost uh, skill points for that or whatever, sportsmanship, whatever it's called, which... Is it completely in the wrong? Because I think everybody was kind of in the wrong there. Because there's a giant pile up. But I think I actually lost more than quite a lot of people. Because I quote unquote hit other cars. The other cars hit me as I spun out. Which with this game having the ghost feature. I think that would be a prime opportunity for my car to go ghost there. Well there's another prime opportunity for a car to go ghost there. A car literally sitting in the middle of the track, not moving. Uh, hopefully this race gets better soon, folks, because this is kind of terrible now, and really a lot of it's not even my own doing. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm faster than the few cars in front of me, as far as I can tell, but that's kind of relative as well, because those cars in front of me may have been involved in the wreck as well. I know Pereno 63 is in this race, I think that's how you pronounce that, and he's really fast. And I'm pretty sure he got involved in the wreck as well, so if he's up there, then I'm not going to catch him. But for other drivers who started around about the same spots they're in now ahead of me, I think I can catch them. But for now, I think I'm just going to have to take it one car at a... Well, those cars broke, like, way too early there, so I guess I took it two cars at a time there. And they count that as clean. So the game knows when it's not my own doing when cars break early in front of me. But they sure as... Well, sure as the game will mess up, know that if a car wrecks in front of me and it's not my own doing, they're sure going to penalize me for that, aren't they? Cars break early, no penalty. Cars wreck early, penalty. Uh, I don't know, folks. I don't know. Maybe it's just a random circumstance again, but, eh, I don't know. It seems like there's been more la laggy and crazy and chaos and stuff lately. I don't know if that's just, like, random or not. But uh, I already know there's going to be more special taking coming up because I have more races to do, so I guess we'll see in those races whether it gets better or worse. I think, though, it's going to get better, because it's hard to get much worse than this race. This race have literally had everything possible go wrong, except for, well, I guess the race that I already specified where I literally lagged out of the room completely, which goes to another point of PD logic of... If you lag out of the race, as far as I can tell, I've only d done it like twice, I'm not purposely doing it, obviously, that counts you as a DNF, which then hurts your race rating or whatever, the ABCD, not the, the sportsmanship, the actual speed one. Which, again, that's not in your own doing, so in my opinion, if you lag out of a race, that race would just count as not for or against. But, 
PD logic has it as hurting you, even though it's their internet that kicks you out. But for now, I'm still in this race, despite there being quite a lot of cars that probably shouldn't be in the race in this one. Which is kind of another side point as well, is how can people get up to 50-something, but yet they are, like, 10 seconds a lap slower than me? I I'm not saying I'm great or nothing, I'm sort of maybe in the top third on average of the cars I race against being in the mid to high 50s level. But it seems like the bottom maybe 25% are incredibly slower. How do you get the rating up so high when you can barely even stay in a track with others? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I know this race has kind of turned into more of a rant than a special Titan. But, well, I'm kind of just having to go through the motions here and try to make sure I get through the pack. So it's kind of just one car at a time. And once I get by it, I'm well by it. Like that car there. That car actually ended up taking me two attempts to get by. But not really all that big a deal because I did ultimately get by cleanly. That driver behind me, though, is on my th friends list and is a clean driver, so I'm not too worried about, about that driver. I'm more worried about the driver who caused that giant pile up in the front, which I don't think that driver was a part of, because I think he's ran about in the position he qualified in. For the drivers in front, probably not. So we'll just have to see if I can end up catching the, some of the drivers in front. And I still have a little bit of time to do it, but not a lot, though, because this is the last lap. This is a fairly big track, though, and there's around about a minute left to racing, so I might be able to catch the driver in front of me, but it's going to be a heck of a heap of a haul for me to be able to do it. But I'm not going to rule anything out, because the race has ruled quite a lot out for me this time around, so maybe something will get ruled out for someone else as well. A lot of times drivers are wrecking this upcoming chicane, so maybe I can get a car in the wall here, and hopefully it goes ghost if it ends up being in front of me this time around. But, from what it looks like, nobody wrecked there, so I doubt I'm going to catch the driver in front of me, but I do have a pretty decent run, so maybe I can put enough pressure where he makes a mistake. Let's see, folks. I go into this turn as good as I can and get pretty good momentum out, so I should have a run. But, well, uh, Jiminy Cricket, that 4C is fast. That 4C is faster than the Corvette, and, well, it beats me to the line. So, well, I started in about mid-pack, so relative to where I started, I did worse, but given where I started was not exactly where I ended up, I guess that's not too bad. I went from dead last to not much off mid-pack, so for given that this is the race where I probably got screwed over more than any others and I still get a not downright terrible result, I guess I'll take it. Let's hope some races in the future are a little bit more on my side with luck. That's for sure, folks. That's for sure. Yeehaw!